China. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show you today a kind of a recap of what we've done with five in a row so far. So this was week two of our first five in a row venture that we're doing. And it is, ah, it's, oops, hang on. We just finished the story about Ping. So um, I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the activities we did. I'm gonna show you the kids' notebooking journal and some of the read-alongs that we did with this book and hands-on projects, that kind of thing. So here we go. All right, so I'll start by just telling you a little bit about the story. This is a classic. It was written in like 1933. Great story. Um, my kids really enjoyed it. And it just kind of, um, it's set in China. So we learned a lot from that. We kind of ventured into what is China all about? Where is China? All that um, lovely stuff you learn. We did some art projects. Um, the medium that was used for this was colored pencils. So that was easy. Um, we talked about in our Bible time about discernment, about knowing, um, when something is good, even if it looks good, it might not be good. In Ping's case, it was rice cake crumbs that he thought looked good and he ate them and ate them, but he ended up in a trap and this little boat boy grabbed him, um, and the father says, a duck dinner has come to us. And the mom's saying, I'll cook him at sunset. And Ping's in a lot of trouble. So, um, you know, we just talked about how something that looks good may not be good. So using discernment, asking the Lord to give you discernment. We talked about obedience and how important that is. And we talked about kind of Jonah's story and how he didn't obey God. And Ping kind of got him got in trouble. What got him into the mess that he ended up in was the master would call the ducks back to the boat every evening. And Ping was busy when that call went out, and so he didn't hear it. And because of that, the consequence was he was going to be the last one to the boat, and the last one gets a little spank on the back, and he didn't want to get a spanking. So the rest of the story kind of unfolds from there. So we really enjoyed the story. We enjoyed um, learning about the different things. The kids, I think, enjoy the hands-on activities with it. So I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the thing, the books we use to go along with this story. And yeah, so hang on. Okay, so I'll start out with the books that we talked about with China. First, we talked about Asia, where Asia is. We found it on the map, we found it on the globe. Um, and then from there, we really discuss China and kind of where it's at, um, some of the culture that goes on, um, cultural things that go on in China. Um, my saving grace with this book, because I, Evangeline is a total nonfiction, she just can't stand nonfiction. So you show her this book and say, we're going to look at this book, and she says, Ugh. So I was lucky. There was a panda bear on this page, so it kind of was like, oh. Panda bear. And that's about as far as we got with this book because she was not into it. Same with this. She was like, mm, I don't want to learn about China. Then, lucky me, I had picked up this. Do y'all know who this is? Miss Frizzle from Magic School Bus. So then we were like, oh, we have to read this book and learn all about China. So this was my saving grace as far as the China subject goes. And this is a really great book to um, kind of open their eyes to kind of what goes on in China, how it's different. Um, it shows lots of different things, like it shows them eating, talks about using chopsticks. It, we learned a lot from this book, just kind of the way that rice is made and harvested. Um, what else? Talked about different inventions that the Chinese invented, like paper, um, tea, all kinds of stuff. Silk, the compass. Um, it's kind of talked about the process of how silk is made. So very interesting, great pictures, a, a, an adventure story to go along to keep them interested. This was a total win. So if you're studying China, go there. 
All right, here's the Great Wall of China. And honestly, we did not even get to read this book, but we should have, and we still might. So we'll see. This is a book a friend gave me a couple years ago, and it per fit perfectly in with this unit because it talks about this little girl that moved from China to America. And so she points out the differences between the two cultures, how we celebrate the new year on January 1st here. Chinese New Year depends on the year when they celebrate it, how they celebrate it. Um, she talked about the difference in Chinese food versus American food. Um, the, the differences in clothing, differences in the writing. So this was just a really quick little read for us that really pointed out some great differences. Um, we talked about the food in China. And, oh, hello. With that, I also bought a pack of chopsticks, which my kids totally hated. By the way, don't buy chopsticks. Go to a Chinese restaurant and eat there and get, like, the free ones that they have because my kids hated chopsticks. It was, it was kind of comical. But um, it's good to have anyway. We will be studying more about Japan, more, I'm sure, about China at some point. We'll pull these out and try again, just for the fun of it. We talked about language arts. We talked about repetition with this unit. So this is a little book I printed out, probably off of Teachers Pay Teachers, but I don't remember. It's literary devices, which we will be learning about as we go through. And so this thing has all kinds of stuff. Alliteration, onomatopoeia, all kinds of topics that I just printed things out, homophones, you know, just different things. But for this unit, we talked about, and I just lost my page, repetition. So the thing that was repeated in the story about Ping was um, he was getting on the boat or off the boat with his mother, his father, his two sisters, his three brothers, his 11 aunts, his seven uncles, and his 42 cousins. And they, it goes through there. Um, that carries throughout the story. Also, the yellow waters of the Yangtze River. You hear about a lot about the Yangtze River where the story is set. So, just bringing it to their attention, that's repetition, and the author is using that tool to make the story more interesting. Then we learned about ducks. So, I'll show you. This one was just a fun read, Duck and Goose. We talked about this one. This was a good book, Ducks Quack. And this was really great on their level. Um, a really... <laughs> Some of it below their level, but, um, you know, then it had more factual type stuff. But we, from this, learned kind of just about, just about ducks. How they preen their feathers to keep them um, neat. They waddle, and we practice waddling around the room. So great pictures, great story. And then I just had these in case they wanted to look at them which we didn't really look at these, but we could have. This would have been a good one, but we didn't get there. I like to over check out instead of under check out. And then we did re use this one, and this was a really cute Just Ducks. And it's kind of like a story about this little girl who wakes up with, door with quacking outside of her window, and it just talks about what ducks do all day, um, where they go to sleep. We learned the terms for dabbling when they're just barely in the water and then upending which is what got ping in trouble um just different things we learned that boy ducks are called drakes so yeah it was a good book to read and then okay so that's all of that and my video is getting long and i'm sorry we also had a duck puppet which was great to have for this unit and I also have some plastic ducks, some little plastic ducks, and a little boat so they could, re they could act out the story of the ducks getting off and on the boat. Super kid, wherever he is. I don't know where he went. He's over there. He was our master, so they were making him say, la, 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 lee, or whatever the master of the boat called. And you'll hear, I'll show you the video of that in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking here, and I'm going to put in some clips of the kids assembling what they did with their notebooking journal. And then at the end, I'm gonna pop back on and show you their actual journals and the pages in them and what they did, okay? So, stay tuned. So we're about to look at Imperial China by Miss Frizzle and company. And we also are probably gonna read Lan Popo, the story of Red Riding Hood, China version, I guess. We are working on our five in a row notebooks. We've been talking all about China, 
We read about the Miss Frizzle and the Magic School Bus people that went to China. We learned about rice farming and silk, how silk is made. I didn't color it yet. Lots of things that the Chinese invented. Everett's over there. I didn't color it yet by him. He is coloring the map of China. He found it on the on our little thing. Where did you find that? That little bitty picture you found it all by yourself. Very good, Bob. All right, you ready? Who, can you remember? It says, where in the world is China? Where is China? In what continent? Do you in remember? the United States. No. Asia. 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 That's right, Everett. Mommy, hey, and you can you add it. You even got this eraser. Yeah, I know. Mommy. She even colored the flag of China. She, we figured out what time it was in America and in Beijing, China. She's, she labeled a duck. Now she's going to make it a mallard duck. A boy. What do we call a boy duck? You a Fiji. What? A Fiji. A Fiji? No, not a Fiji. <laughs> a drake. No, a Fiji. <laughs> well, what do they live by? What kind of land or... Water. Water. That's right. They're really a type of water fowl, which is a water bird. Okay, what did we learn about their feathers? That they're oily and they're waterproof, so they don't really get wet. It rolls right off of them. Yeah. Pretty awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at Elin. Pretty colored duck. All right, so we are doing art, and this was like a little guided art. So we drew a duck. Now they're coloring the. We're learning how to draw it. Things in the water. Am I, out, am I doing good coloring? You're doing awesome. We're just drawing away. Evangeline colored her ping and she's going to color his beak and his feet. Look at how she colored her water yellow and blue. And she's I coloring. I see. I see you. I see the yellow what? Blue water. Yellow and blue water of the what? <laughs> What it's river it's were they on? Oh, the Yaxi River. Oh, this is what we count up the examples I gave them. Oh, the egg. No, no, the water broke in two. My, see how they're different and they're swimming in different ways? Yeah, everybody is putting. These are dots represent ducks, and those are all the little cousin ducks for pink. And this See is how his mama are and his two sisters. Some are organized. Yeah. What I dropped in Evangeline's doing hers. There's Ping and his mama and two sisters, and she's making all the cousins get in the water. Mommy, guess what? What? It's the army ducks. Oh, army ducks. Yeah, you're the lizard. Yeah, we know you're the lizard. Mommy, uh, mine's like wet. Okay, so we are talking about. What the Chinese people in China wear, like their traditional dress. So we're making some paper dolls. There, we wrote my name in Chinese. This is Evangeline's name. I won't try to pronounce it on here because, yeah, I'm not that good. Everett's Chinese people he made. Elin, where's your Chinese people? And I hope Evangeline, I there hope you are. Done good, good job. Where's Evangeline? Where's Evangeline? I hope none of people? us ever go to Can't China. Can't find them. Oh no, they're missing? Maybe they went to China. Oh, they're on Elin's desk. There they are. Um, I don't what did, know. How did they say hello? What did they say? Me, new Me, how? Me, how? Or something like that. No. This me, is how. Sam and this is that new how. Can you name it? Hmm. Sam? How about, hmm, I don't know what a good Chinese name would be. Yan. How about Yan, like the one in the story we read? How about mine? Or it might be Yan. I don't know. Yan. Yeah. Show yeah. me what you did with this. What's this? Maybe I didn't so make it. I go you did uh -uh. Yes. Can, Can you I tell us to do it? Look at your neat work. Let me that's see. That's mine and then that's you. Good job. Wow. I'm a kindergarten. You're a kindergarten. <laughs> you are a kindergarten. That's it.
that pink and that's his two sisters and then that's his dad and that's that's his dad. That's Pink's dad. And this is his 42 cousins. All of these are 42 cousins. And these are his aunts and these are his uncles. One by one, down a little bridge to the shore of the Yangtze River. Yep, Mom. Oh. No, you have to do them in order. Go one right after another so they'll be in a nice line. Okay. Put some more blue right there. Put some more blue right there. Please. Okay, please. Hang on. We're going to do it in a row. All right. Everett and Elin are working on the Great Wall of China project. We are doing art today, and this is going to be our art project. This one has to be a Okay, there's your little people you wanted. Everybody tell YouTube what we're doing. We're building the Great Wall of China. Yeah, we're making a Great Wall of China. A bunch of ducks in this boat. Uh huh. The and the there's a beautiful eyes. duck named Piggy. He walks from the back. And what happened? What did they do every day? They go fishing for for duck. For fishes and snails. That's right. And then they put. Oh, la, 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 la. <gasps> no, no, oh. no, 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 no. And then what did they have to do when they heard that? And they go all the way up the bridge. And what That's would what happen if they d if they were if you're the last up? What would happen? Let's go. You get a spanking, right? What did you find? I put the baby story in the box. And did you put a duck in the box? Yep, a duck. A duck. A duck? What does the duck do? A flow. My cousins! And yeah. the fun look is really. Why do you think they sink instead of float? Because the cars. What are they made of? Sinkiness. <laughs> Are you eating a bracelet with chopsticks? Mm -hmm. Show me how you eat with your chopsticks, Elin. I don't know. Well, show me how you do it. Show me how you were doing it while ago. I do this. I, I, I did rub it. You did? They make, they make good rhythm sticks? So what do y'all think? We like it. Great Wall of China is completed. Okay, Everett, what did you like about the story about Ping? The activities we did, the story itself, what did you think? I, I liked that Ping accepted the spank and went back with his family. Okay. What did you think about the story about Ping? What did you like about it? He got back to the boat. Elin, what did you like about the story about Ping? When he got trapped and when he went down and when he got spanked. You liked it when he got spanked? And when he got trapped. I liked all the stories. You liked Wait, that? Where I were? All the stories. Where did that story happen at? When uh, they were uh, marching like this. Yeah, they were marching up the bridge. But where were they at? What country One, were they two, in? One, two, three, four. In China. In China. What place were they at in China? They're the Yangtze River. La 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 la. What is la 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 la? I think it means come here, you ducks. Right now. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, here's a quick tour of notebooking journals about the story about Ping. This is where in the world is China? Everett said it's in Asia. There's his flag of China. He also has how to use chopsticks. They all have this somewhere in their journal. It tells about what the people in southern China eat more rice. In northern China, they eat more noodles. They eat with chopsticks or a spoon. Elins and here's the Andrews. You can know put her name in Chinese on here. Okay, this is a page we did about the time difference between the USA and China. 
how when we're sleeping, they're awake, and when they're awake, we're sleeping. We did their names in Chinese. Took a look at that. Everybody even tried to draw his name in Chinese. We talked about Ping when he was up on down under the water. What was he looking for? Fish, snails. We talked about what do ducks eat? All the different things. Here's Lindens. She colored her duck in here. She drew fish, and Evangeline drew, drew some fish. Okay, we labeled and colored a duck, and also um, this is our artwork that we did about drawing a duck. This was guided art, so they drew it and colored it, and then this was like the ripples in the water. This is Everett's and Evangeline. Here's their little Chinese people they drew, um, they colored and put together. King's family represented in stickers. This was a great fine motor activity that we did. Um, they all each have their own unique little look to them. They all have a little Chinese house that they cut out and we made a pocket out of it for the people to go down inside. And we will be making more of these little people um, of different, different nationalities that of the ones that are available. And then here's some copy work they did that I made a little packet for them to do. And Everett did not do all of this because he actually did a passage. You know, once upon a time there was a beautiful young duck named Ping. That's the way the story started. And then they also had a maze in their copy work. And that is pretty much it. So I realized that this video probably got really long by the time I get all the little clips and things in here, but thank you if you got this far in it. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, give it some love. And this is, I'm thinking the probably the format I'm gonna do the, like, cause we row things we're gonna do for two weeks at a time. So the first week I'll probably show you some of the hands-on activities we're doing in our other subjects. The second week I'll probably give you a recap of how we wrapped up five in a row. So I hope you like this format. If you do, comment below and let me know. If you don't, comment below. If there's something different you'd like to see or if you have any questions or anything, feel free to put them below and I'll see what you have to say. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope y'all have a great week this week. Ha, ha, ha.